Reading for June 25th, Science of Mind, A Philosophy of Faith, A Way of Life by Ernest Holmes. Reading from page 228, paragraph 2, through page 229, paragraph 4, using inclusive language. Treating Lung Trouble The spiritual idea of lung itself is universal and perfect. Nothing has ever happened to it. It was, is, and ever will be perfect. But people, through the creative medium of their thought, have caused an appearance of disease in the lung. Back of all such trouble is a consuming passion, an unexpressed emotion, a strong desire. Healing will take place to the degree that the practitioner neutralizes this belief and perceives the presence of a perfect lung. The practitioner realizes there is a perfect body, perfect being, perfect God, perfect human, perfect expression, perfect bronchial tubes, perfect trachea, perfect lungs. The practitioner, if they would heal, must elevate their own thought. The word they speak is law. It is power. It knows itself to be what it is. It is the law unto the case. They are now conscious that the word they speak will neutralize and entirely destroy the false thought and condition. They say, there is one body. This body is the body of God and is perfect. It is never depleted. Its vitality is never lowered. There is no wasting away nor burning up of substance, for substance is eternal, changeless, and perfect. This body is the body of my patient now. They continue until they cover what, in their own thought, appears to be the mental cause of the false condition. If they do this day after day, the patient will be relieved, though the practitioner never thinks of their patient other than that the word of truth is being spoken for them. They never wonder whether their word is taking effect because they speak into intelligence and let it act. Human life is the incarnation of God in people. With every indrawn breath, we breathe in life, and with every outgoing breath, we give it forth. The lungs are constantly renewed by every respiration. With every new inspiration of thought, we appropriate something of God. With every outpouring of life, expressed in faith and good deeds, We are expressing God. When we associate our breathing with the very life and light of God, nothing can retard the flow of life through us. A good meditation for practitioner or patient who has any fear of lung trouble is, The one infinite life and substance is the only life and substance in existence, and this life and this substance is my life now. I express through a spiritual body which is and must continue to be perfect. There is no wasting or destruction of any part, for that which is eternal can never be non-existent. Any tissue that appears to be impaired are now renewed by the very life of God which is flowing in and through me. I erase from my consciousness the belief that the tissues of my body can be impaired, inflamed, or destroyed. Joyfully, peacefully, trustingly, confidently, I give my body every tissue, atom, and function over to the spirit of life, which in its perfection does now renew and rebuild me even out of itself. That substance out of which my body is created is spiritual and is maintained by the all-powerful essence of spirit.